happy Tuesday. Good morning, boys and girls. Okay, let's get to our projects. So the first one is by Robert in room 221, who has uh, labeled an insect. So we have the thorax, the wings, the abdomen, head, antennae, uh, and legs. Now, I'm not sure which insect Robert is uh, diagramming, but still, it's pretty good. Then we have some addition facts by Riley. And so we have triple digit, double digit, uh, and double stacks. So getting smart through math. Next, we have a project on sharks by Jeremy. So different types of sharks, basking sharks, whale, mako, hammerheads. Now we heard about the hammerheads and the whale sharks already, but we haven't heard about makos. So uh, I'll go to that. Some fun facts on mako sharks. How about they are about 11 feet long? Uh, and uh, mako sharks can see very well in low light. So that means when it's fairly dark, mako uh, sharks can see. Uh, they have uh, almost what we would call night vision. Night vision is when you can see very well in the dark. And many animals have night vision because they are nocturnal. They are awake at night and asleep during the day. Hmm. So let's see. Basking sharks can go 25 feet long and uh, hammerheads 15 feet long. But we think we learned that in our last hammerhead project. And now, last one for today, which should leave, uh, lead us into tomorrow's project, is all about the planets. This one is more about space travel. This is by Lindsay Capello in 216. And so this is about how much space travel has changed the world and our lives. And then, of course, some illustrations of... Uh, how we travel into space by rocket and then the planets so did you know that the space shuttle can go uh, greater than 17,000 miles per hour it goes uh, super duper fast um, and you know a lot of what we see in video games about space is from what we learned about space through space travel so we have satellites and, and different shuttles or rocket ships that go into space to teach us about uh, the universe. So nice work, Lindsay. And now let's move on to our mystery number and our wordle. All right. So we learned that these two numbers, i uh, sorry, these two letters are the most common vowel and a letter that can be a vowel or a consonant. So that would be a Y. This has to be an A. All right. Like last week, this word has two words in it. This is one word. This is another word. All right. Take a look. All right. In this word, this letter is a vowel, and it's not one of the most common, but it's not the least common either. Whew. All right, now moving on to our mystery number. Okay, so it has two digits. All right, if we take a look at that. Um, front one of these words is related to this number as a whole however in this number when i spell out both words there are two e's two e's all right and now it's time for our money kind moment of the day let's get our grimoire da, da, da. So our Mighty Kind Moment of the Day today is a shout out to all of the teachers who volunteered at the 
spooky walk last night at the Halloween How, and especially to Miss Malios, who Miss uh, T, who gave up the APR, her classroom for the spooky walk. Super duper mighty kind, just so we could have a good time. And of course, boys and girls, every day is a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.